Welcome to the Opus Voice Biometrics Conference London 2013. The most common voice biometric applications today are within IVR, so self-serve authentication, and within the call center as people speak to agents, voice biometrics is used to authenticate people. So I think it's actually revolutionary the way the agents and customers perceive the usage of voice biometrics. And the agents are exempt from asking annoying security questions. They can focus on providing the service from the first second of the call. Voice biometrics will improve the, uh, definitely the customer's experience and will re replace uh, other authentication methods which are very harder for the customers now. Well, voice biometrics will help in a number of ways. Number, number one, it will help stop the social engineering that's happening in the contact centers, getting information about customers to help them either commit fraud then or later through other channels. In addition to that, it will also help them cut down on account takeover and other types of fraud. Telco is now changing and customers are choosing to interact across multiple channels. Uh, for example, retail, face-to-face, -face, um, online, mobile. Uh, as a result, you need a, a, a voice biometric product set that can authenticate you across those channels in a very uh, secure and consistent way. Well, the adoption of voice biometrics has been accelerating. So we counted uh, more than 35 million uh, enrolled protected individuals uh, based on some of the presentations here, we have to up that figure, uh, probably approaching 40 million and perhaps exceeding that. Well, I think the biggest barrier would be finding uh, the balance between the false acceptance and false uh, reject rates, and also having a, a seamless, uh, seamless customer experience uh, for, for the solution. Well, the biggest barrier uh, definitely was to get all of the people, including the chief security officer, on board, to have them at one table and to understand, so that let them understand, uh, what the values of the voice biometric solutions are. I think the biggest barrier in terms of the adoption of voice biometrics in Singapore would be really the customer awareness. How do we educate customers about the convenience of this particular technology, as well as actually ensure them that their voice prints they're going to capture will be safeguarded. The uh, biggest barrier to voice biometric adoption in Australia will be that uh, government agencies that don't have critical mass of usage or repeat usage in their client base will have to partner up with larger agencies that do. My prediction uh, for voice biometrics, uh, I believe that in two or three years it will be a total standard uh, in most of the financial institutions. I see tremendous opportunity for voice biometrics and applications that most people haven't been thinking about at all, such as ATMs and other kiosks, and as well for e-commerce to secure high-risk transactions. So these are applications that require us to change our thinking a little bit because they require voice interactions with systems that we're not interacting with right now. Uh, but we believe that that's going to happen in the next couple of years. I see that voice biometrics are going to take off in Asia because there are so many success stories in Europe and US and that will actually help to uh, improve the confidence of the customers as well as enterprises in this particular technology. So near future, we expect rapid growth as the applications prove to scale. You know, initially in, as financial uh, institutions uh, expand their customer-facing activities. And it, it means that uh, many of the applications that have been applied internally are now going to be uh, facing the outside world in, in massive scale. So the telco sector of the future is going to introduce a load of new technologies, I see. Things like paying with your mobile phones, things like shopping uh, much more online via applications in order to ensure that we uh, authenticate customers and keep their security in a consistent way. We need to have a robust set of biometric solutions in place. If we just think about one application, it's Gmail. There's over a billion Gmail users. If we get those people to move away from passwords and using voice biometrics, we're going to see phenomenal adoption.